or Shalom, or praises to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rakah Kadash. The Bible said the apostles salute you, bros, teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. Um, this video here is um, it's gonna be on uh, you know, I was just checking random videos out and stuff, <laughs> but you got um, you know, and I like um that saying that goes the truth is stranger than fiction. Uh, anyway, yeah, you got to... I'm going to play a couple of seconds of this trailer. But um, you see the chariots, man, which the so-called UFOs are the chariots of the Heavenly Father. Um, And um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play and then I'll do the lesson. Because the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. He's gonna, he's gonna invade this kingdom. You know, he's gonna shock the people. Let's go. <laughs> By the way, what what spiritual is? It's called cover your eyes. You know, and the scripture says every eye shall see him. So, you know, you ain't gonna be able to unsee this. This is, it's, it's, you know, the eyes it stood out to me in this one because, you know, the, the Lord is, everyone is going to see the Lord, man. Let's go. I remember a time when I could just run for the pleasure. That was before the path arrived. And everything changed. Days, I just seem to run out of necessity. It was our disunity which let them in. These days, I just seem to run out of changed. And she said it was our disunity that let them in. Um, the scriptures talks about this divisions. The Lord came to bring division. But anyway, uh, let me read uh, the scripture first. You know, let's get. You know, actually, I'm going to get the um, division. The Lord came not to send peace, but rather division. Let's see if I can get that. <clears throat> right, Luke 12 and 51, right? It says, uh, Luke 12, 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. So that Yahweh Shai, the one in the world calls Jesus Christ, he's not coming for peace, man. It, well, in the balanced side of it, he's, the peace he's going to restore is with the elect. He's coming with, so he's coming with peace to the elect, but to the masses, to, you know, those who are sanctioned for judgment, he's coming with judgment. Luke 12 and 51, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. So, you know, everything is going to be all divided up when the Lord gets here. As it is, Brexit, the love of many waxing cold, people looting each other, all sorts of crazy things are happening. It's going to be worse. Factions, people, you know, you know what I mean? People um, busting down each other's doors, you know, for what lack of bread. Okay. Um, Let's get that. So there's going to be a lot going down here. Um, let's get a quick precept on that. Second Ezra 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. You know, we, we, like we said, we're in a time of great judgment, right? It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Right? It's going to be like, uh, I'm seeing from the movie The Road. Beautiful, you know, great movie to watch. Um, You know, for, for setting the tone of the reality that's set before us here. Um, And you know, it's funny because a lot of the things we've been teaching and saying, they're all happening, they're all manifesting as we speak. 
because the vision was yet for an appointed time and at the end it shall speak. And that's what exactly what's happening here. All right, second hundred fifteen and nineteen. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbour. It's going to be barbaric, man. Looting. And he says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You know, you got um the FRNs, by the way, that like, you, know, you got inflation, you got hyperinflation, and this this you the stock market crash. This this money is gonna be worth nothing. It's gonna go into the digital system. Everything's gonna change. That's why they're pushing that thing so hard. But um, you know, you notice like uh, you had that movie, The Purge. You know, you're gonna have these scenes on your streets, streets out here. You know, and, and like it says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. So it's gonna be war zones on these streets, man. All out chaos is going to ensue for when the Lord returns. And the real order and the planet is going to be put in by the Lord. Alright. Now, I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this. Revelations 1 and 7, right? It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. What are them clouds? The clouds are the chariots. Right. So it's funny, this, this short film's called Cover Your Eyes. Because when the Lord comes, every eye shall see him. And it's going to be what they don't expect. I brought that in one of the other lessons where uh, the scripture says the kings shall stop their mouths at him. They're going to be, come on, man, look at this. Look, you're looking in the sky. And you see ships, you know, bigger than this. You know, I mean, you know what you, you know. So, you know, through the spirit of the Lord, man, the Lord is um, going to shut the people on his magnificent return. And that's why you got this stuff going on, man, with these chariots. You know. To sit down these uh, leaders and ask them about your four files. Well, now they've released them now anyway. So, now, now they've just admitted, yeah, well, the UFOs are real. And all types of military sightings and, you know, just people in general. You know, the sightings are out there. The sightings are out there. You know, now through the spirit, man, you know, the Lord can have a chariot. One in the, in these end times that we're in, just hover over a city for a whole day. A giant chariot just hovering over a city. Because you know the Most High is um confounding Esau and his plans. Because the Heavenly Father is the one that runs the show. You know, just look at what happened in Egypt. So the Lord is confounding the modern day Babylonians. The rulers of the darkness of this world with his magnificent ships all right so we got we got to remember that all right let's let's keep it moving it says behold he cometh with clouds the ships and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so a man let's get another quick scripture here This is the book of Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh. Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Um, if you, you know, the, the day of the Lord is when he returns in them ships. When all hell and the nukes are dropping. The Lord is going to come in the midst of that, man. When World War III took place, America's destroyed. The Lord's coming in the midst of that. That's the day of the Lord. Now, if you if your teachers and pastors ain't teaching that, and they ain't teaching that your Israelites, they don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, Amos five eighteen, and the false prophets. How many of these dudes are telling you about the digital system coming in? None, none of these dudes. Uh, you know, you got people that know, but you know, it tends to be like certain types of people, man, Bible bouters or 
certain types of people. Amos 5 and 18, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? So the, the scripture says, to what end is the day of the Lord for you? Because a lot of people are going to be ending up in that. Um, and everything changed. Yeah, she's right. Everything changed. It damn sure did. But a lot of you are going to be in that world war. Um, um, yeah, world uh, war of the worlds. You know, the, the earth's going to be turned to that war of the worlds, man. Where you always shine the angels coming them UFOs and are hovering over these 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 cities and, and over the world. That's how every eye is going to see him because he's going to be hovering all over the planet. That's how that that's the day of the Lord. That's how magnificent uh, the return of the Lord is going to be, man. So everyone is going to be judged according to their work. No one's going to get away from this. So this is why we're repenting. We're repenting and getting right. And these elites know about this, man. I was watching, there was one other video I was going to do just a while ago about it. I kind of didn't do it, um, but I might go back and do it. it another. I was watching a UFO, one of those UFO documentaries. A lot of Levin was in it, though. You know, they're talking about all types of different philosophies. But there was one part there mentioned the scriptures. And, um, you know, they were talking about, they mentioned the Bible, man. And about, you know, in the beginning with, you know, they said, you know, the, the, you know, let us make man in our own image. So they're trying to say that's a cut, but it's not a cut because we know like, the scripture says what it says, meaning, because they were trying to say, oh, yeah. So basically they were saying, man, you know, man was, I'm not even going to go into their bug that philosophies, but, um, you know, the powers, when you read the word God in Genesis, it's the powers. You know, Yahweh shy the angels, if you will. Yahweh shy the elect, if you will. You were with me from the beginning. Creating everything. And, um, you know, basically, man, um, you know, the Heavenly Father um, is going to return and he's going to invade the planet. And I kind of kind of slipped my mind what I was what was on my head, but um, um, I think I just um, kind of slipped with, with one of the points here. But the point is, is that the angels are coming back anyway. With the, the Lord's coming back with these angels on the planet. Um, now, there's a reason I mentioned the duck. It will come to me. But uh, so let's carry on with these scriptures, man. Uh, Oh, it says the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right, let's get Zechariah. There's a couple other things, scriptures I was gonna get off the top of the head, but I can't remember. Zechariah five and one. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. All right, so that flying roll is um them chariots. It's a chariot, man. And he and he said unto me, What seest thou? And and I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubics and the breadth thereof 10 cubics. Then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the, of the, of the whole earth. All right, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Okay. So everyone's going to see the Lord's chariot when it makes its return. And everything changed. Okay, I like that part. Everything changed. Everything is going to be a transition of powers. The scripture says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So there's definitely going to be a change. Right? Everything changed. Matter of fact, the elect are going to change. They're going to, their bodies are going to change. It says we shall be changed. So a lot of changes are coming, man. A lot of changes are coming. <laughs> a lot of changes are coming, man. All right. This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off 
as as on this side, <clears throat> according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. Right, we're in a wicked kingdom. We're, this is this is one of the beast systems set up that was in prophecy. And it's going to be destroyed. And all the people that have worshipped the image of this beast, they're going to be going down with it. Because they worship this man. This is nothing but, you know, you, this, you know, the rabbit hole goes deep of how wicked this kingdom is. Of what's really going on behind these scenes. You know, for example, you got um, the, you know, it's, uh, Christmas coming up, which is um, really goes back to uh, um, Babylonian festivals, which is not really venerating Yahweh Shai. Not really worshipping the other shive. Um, it's worshipping Satan, you know, and you know, when you check it out, um a lot of sacrifices will take place over that period. Now a lot of the individuals that are in these stuff, they don't even know what the how, how deep the rabbit hole goes a lot of them. But a lot of things are coming out now. You know, a lot of things are coming out. Um but that's because we're in the time of the end, man. A shameful spewing, the debt-based systems, the hidden secret societies, the the the, the warlock stuff they're doing behind the scenes, the, you know, the, the sorceries, the perverting of the truth. Okay, when you pick up these this, this scriptures, you're supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and follow the high holy days of the scriptures, not made-up ones, man, pagan. Alternatives, no? You know, they kept Hanukkah, they kept Purim, they kept the Passat, the Passover. These are the Sabbath, these are the high holy days you're actually supposed to keep. That's what's in the scriptures. The ones that are actually in there, their people ain't keeping that. They're keeping ones that, that are not in there. Zechariah 5 and 4. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. So this is a house of the thief. And they're acting as if, you know, by the way, man, if I can. When you see Yahweh Shai, he's going to be looking more like this. And his name is, you know, the name of the father is Yahweh, and the name of the son is Yahweh Shai. Because he was Hebrew, he never, you know, he never spoke. He never, his name wasn't, you know, English. Or some made up word. You know, that doesn't, because J's, come on, J's weren't even, J's is a new letter. So the 1700s. So they weren't using that. You know, it just doesn't make no sense. Um, you know, but this, this this kingdom, this realm, you know, has, has, has blasphemed the scriptures in, in every way. So do you think when he comes back, he's going to be happy about that? He's not going to be happy about that. That's why he, he said he came to send division. Another thing he's coming for, send is fire. And he's coming with his... Uh, his warrior angels. Okay, so so you got to you got to you got to get that right, man. It says, "I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof, and and and, and if you can't see why that 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 if you can't see why we're telling you why that can't happen." And you, you're asleep, man. As a matter of fact, you've already, you've got your eyes covered right now, like that show, eyes wide shut. You, your eyes are covered, man. You're spiritually in, in darkness. That's why the scripture says we are not like them. We're not in the dark. We're, we're of them of the day. In the darkness, at least that day should overcome us and take us as a thief. It's a beautiful scripture for that as well. Second Peter is free and two that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets 
and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Saviour, knowing this first, that, sh that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust. And a lot of people are scoffers, man. A lot of people are just going to be walking down the street, you know, on a casual day, changed. not expecting what's coming. They were just strolling down the street in whatever town or city they were located in. And then I got caught on the ways. Like it says they were eating, drinking, you know, marrying, giving in marriage, all of that. So, you know, there's so much uh, prophecy that is going to be, that is taking place, pl taking place out here. And, and that, that chariot, man, of war, them chariots, the invasion, the war of the worlds, if you will. Oof. You know, to take these, these, these elite bankers and these and the corrupt politicians and these, you know, come on, man. People, there's civil war going on in the lands right now because people are actually not trying to accept these measures and things are coming out about all these satanic rituals and, and uh, you know, and all sorts, man. It's all coming out. But the Heavenly Father on high and he's sending his son to destroy this, to destroy says, knowing this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers, walking after their own lusts. Right? And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And like we said, if you, we're telling you how the Lord's coming. He's coming in them ships. So if you ain't expecting that, man, you got the, you got the wrong person. And by the way, a lot of the, the gods of these people out here is a god of getting um, FRNs, which FRNs are going to be useless to. 2 Peter 3 and 5, For this they are willingly ignorant of, that by the word that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world then that was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of un ungodly men. So when them chariots come, they're coming um, to, to judge. Like I said, war of the worlds. You know, people are running here, people are running there. And guess what? People are getting zapped. turn into powder dust you know that's how that's how hot and and, and, and and the lord's laser beams from his chariots are you know what i mean that concentrated fire you know that's how that's how um how serious that is man Uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9 The Lord is not slack concerning his promise As some men count slackness But his long suffering to us would Not willingly that any should perish But that all should come to repentance But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise And the elements shall mount with fervent heat The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up So um, you know there is going to be um, destruction on the on the land by way of them chariots and by way of the um, you know the nuclear fire, and that's how it's gonna that's how it's gonna go down. So we're talking about um, we're talking about. Um, the whole land of America is going to be a lake of fire, man. That's what the prophets said. You know, that's where you get that lake of fire. You know, and the chariots are going to top it off. Unchanged. Man. You know, burning the infrastructure and buildings. Just like this, hovering over the buildings. Like the war of the world, zapping, you know, the, the kingdom. Because the kingdom's going to be translated 
you know, given over to our Lord. And he's going to do it by way of fire. You know, it's, it's as simple as that. It's coming. And, and like I said, you know, eyes wide shut, man. Because they're not expecting that. But this is what we're here to declare, to declare that this is how the Lord's coming. You know, so you better, you better be prepared, man. You know, so I was checking out this scene basically, and um, you know, um, you know, it kind of struck her because I was I was doing some, you know, just checking certain stuff out, you know, having looks at different things, and um, you know, this, you know, some things stand out to you. So, uh, you know, pretty much this is, but this is prophecy. You know, like you said, people, you know, the day's coming as a thief and his Lord's coming as a thief in the night. So they were getting up to whatever, just doing the normal and then the Lord makes his return. So that's, um, you know, that's the power of the Lord, man. That's how he's coming. Okay, now I can bring out um, some more scriptures, but what I might do, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get this, I want to get this. Um, and let's read um, 2 Peter 3 and 12. It says, looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Lord, um, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. That's a change. Everything changed. You know, at, 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 everything is going to physically change around the environment, the surroundings, the rulership, the elect. The, you know, they're going to be beamed up and changed. You know, it's going to be big changes happening and taking place. Okay, major changes. Okay, so that's this is what time we're in. Times where um you know these are the times that we're uh, times we're coming in, man. Amos nine and eight, behold the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay. So these, you know, the Lord's actually got these angels scouting out this world anyway as it is. UFOs popping up in places. That's the angels of the of the Lord. Now, you know, Lord Yahweh Shai, he's, he's going to be in a majestic ship. Uh, you know, he's, he's waiting for return, man. In all g g glory and majesty. As a, you know, as a conquering lion. As a warrior and and... and you know, he says he shall not meet thee as a man. You ain't, the Lord's coming back, man, as a force, unstoppable force. You know, when you read um, Revelations 19, it goes into that. You know, it talks about, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, he was, he was wearing many crowns. So a lot, all your governments all over the world, the different leaders and. You got, you got, you got things to be to be fearful about. We've all got things to be fearful about, but we 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 intend to be on the good side of the Lord. You know, we intend to be on the good side and not the bad side. So a lot of you leaders, you know, you you're aware of this. That's why they got these bunkers. That's why they always talk about these chariots and they make movies about them. The elites are actually aware that the Lord is coming back. They're aware of that, man. All right? The elite bankers are aware that the Lord is coming back, man. They know more than the average people. They're preparing for it. That's why they got uh, the, the Star Wars program. They actually want to fight the Lord and the angels, which is where you get that war in heaven. Okay? So these elites are aware of what's going on out here. They were aware, man. Okay. So with that, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to close it out there and I'm going to say Shalom.